don't think it's safe for somebody like Jake to be in the office. Well, because of what happened at the Haunted Star. Look, Jake wasn't responsible for his actions. What people seem to forget is that he warned us about the bomb. He's the whole reason no one died that night. Yes, but the trouble that he caused on the boat that night was because of the same people that you think might be trying to take over this company. Did you ever consider that Jake might be a mole for the Cassidines? Rosalie. I'm serious. What if Jake is working for the Cassidines? Every minute that he's here, you're one step closer to losing your company. Jake isn't working for the Cassidines. How can you be so sure? Because Jake was so eager to be free of Helena that he had a brain surgery that could have killed him. Besides, I've, I've had him bedded. He hasn't bought a pack of gum without my team knowing about it. Do you do that intensive vetting for all your employees? Most. Everyone here, you went through their lives with a fine tooth comb? Is this about the secret that Nina Clay is holding over you? Jake. <laughs> what are you doing here? I work here. At ELQ? Mm -hmm. You know, there's not a lot of people who would hire somebody without an identity and multiple arrests, but Michael took a chance. Did he? He did. Wow. Uh, well, that actually doesn't surprise me. He's a pretty fair person. He is. I'm going to do my best to justify his faith in me. So what does he have you doing? Head of security. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Thanks. So what are you doing here? You know what? I, I shouldn't have said anything about the whole vetting thing. Look, Rosalie, whatever your secret is, it's obviously very personal to you. Like, it has nothing to do with how you do your job as my assistant. You asked me to back off, and so I did. I'd never have my investigators look into your history if it was against your wishes. All right? Look, you, you, you had my back last fall where no one else did. You, of all people, have earned my trust. I was at the Quartermains yesterday with Danny, and Michael wasn't there. So I figured I would stop by, check his schedule, and see if he wanted to come have dinner with uh, Danny and him. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. How is it living with Patrick? It's, um, it's going pretty good, actually. It felt like a, a really big step at first, but it was, it was totally worth it. What about you and Elizabeth? It's going pretty well. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Good. And now that I'm gainfully employed, I'm going to secure a room at Kelly's. And, Ooh, yeah, that way we can fun. date. And, you know, <laughs> just living there because I have nowhere else oh, to go. Oh, come on. I'm sure she didn't mind. I did. How's that SUV running? It's great. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you for asking. You know, ELQ might have gained a head of security, but Port Charles definitely lost a really, really good mechanic. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I have an idea. Why don't you and Elizabeth join Patrick and I for dinner? I mean, Elizabeth and Patrick are best friends, and it'll give us all a chance to socialize, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be great. Um, I should have called first because that meeting is probably going to take a really long time. Um, I'm going to go. Yeah. Would you like me to tell them that you called? No, 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 that's no? fine. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm totally sure. Okay. See you around. Drive safe. Will do. <laughs> Thank you for getting back to me on that. Okay. Jake, can I help you with something? Yes, actually, uh, is it just you on this desk? Or is somebody else here? Just me? Why? No reason. Just learning what's what around here. Is Michael free? Yeah, he said you should go right in once you came back. Okay, thanks. We have a problem. So, how's your first day going? Pretty well. I have a lead on why ELQ's been vulnerable to this hostile takeover. What's going on? Michael hired somebody to smoke us out. It's Jake Dill. What's the lead? Someone's been spying on you in your office. 